Hello and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to look at another very handy feature of the MT4 platform, which is the profiles option. Now, in a previous video, we looked at the template option and the template is really specific to a single chart. There you're creating the profile for a chart, if you like, with your selection of colors, styles, and indicators. When we move to profiles, what we're considering here is really the workspace. In other words, a group of charts, an arrangement of charts in your preferred layout. So we're looking at creating a workspace. And as you can see here, this is a very typical arrangement. We have the currency strength indicator on the left, We've got the currency matrix in the middle and we've got three different charts of different time frames. Now let's suppose we want to create as a starting point an Aussie dollar profile, an Aussie dollar workspace if you like. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the market watch window because that's a very quick way of changing these charts. We've got the Aussie dollar here but the other two are not. So I'm just going to ch change those across, drop that on there, drop that on there. And that's another little great tool from MT4, which is a quick way to change charts from one currency pair to another. So we've now got a profile which has three time frames for the Aussie dollar with our currency strength indicator on our currency matrix. And what we're going to do is we're going to save that as a profile. And the way we do that is we go to File, scroll down to Profiles, we get a pop-out menu, select Save As, and we're going to give it a name. So let's call it the AUD USD 1. So that's our profile name and we click OK to save it. So that profile is now saved and if we go up here once again to our file, profiles, you'll see there in the pop-out menu that alongside the AUD USD1 there's a little tick. So that tells us that we're actually working in the Aussie dollar one profile. Now what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make a copy of this and we're going to click Save As because let's suppose we now want to create exactly the same profile for another currency pair. Let's say we're going to do the same for the pound dollar. So let's call it the pound dollar one. There we are. and we click on that. Now if we scroll up to Profiles again, Profiles, there you'll see we've actually got our two profiles. Now at the moment they're identical. We know we're working on pound dollar one because we have the little tick alongside and if we ticked on the Aussie dollar one it would pull up exactly the same profile arrangement. But let's just change the profile we're working on, which is this one, pound dollar. Let's just change these all to the pound dollar. So let's go to our market watch and we left click on our mouse, drag and drop, change that one to pound dollar, change this one to pound dollar, and change that one to pound dollar. So we now have our pound dollar profile. And if we want to switch back to our Aussie dollar profile, all we do is scroll down to profile and select Aussie dollar. And up comes our Aussie dollar profile. Exactly the same layout as for the pound dollar. And if we want to go and quickly look and see what's happening on cable, go to profiles, and up comes our cable workspace, our cable profile. It's another great feature. It's a great way of creating your workspaces 
for the currency pairs of interest using the styling, the layout, the indicators. And when you combine it with the template option, it's a great way to create these very quickly, very easily and very simply. And you can, of course, delete them and rename them as you move forward. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thanks very much indeed for watching and I'll see you again soon and bye for now.